And then inhale, sweep those arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring your hands in the heart center. So take a moment and reflect on what you want to attract into your life, whether that's more love, more joy, or peace, more material abundance, or stability, or simply more free time. Today, I attract and focus my energy on all things I want to invite into my life. And let's seal it with a breath. Release those hands down. Let the universe have it. Leave the details up to God. And then inhale, sweep those arms up. Drop that buttocks down. We do one vinyasa sun B to warm up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Exhale, step or float back. High push up. If your body's tender, drop your knees. Low push up. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, making your way through either tabletop or yogi toe roll to down dog. And then on an inhale, lift the right leg behind the body. And as you exhale, step it up between the hands. Spin the left heel down, and as you inhale, rise and lift the torso. Gather that light energy. And as you exhale, release the hands down. Surround the foot. Step back. High push up. Same exhale, low. Inhale, up dog. Glutes engaged. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, both hands are pressing. Exhale, round the belly, step it forward. Spin that back heel down. Inhale, sweep those arms up, gather that light. And as you exhale, bring it into your being, release the hands down, step back, high push up. Same exhale, love. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take one breath in, and as you exhale, look forward, bend the knees, and either walk up or float feet to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, mountain pose. End of warm-up series, moving on to primary standing. So inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. So because this is a shorter practice and we need heat for purification, you really need to activate these legs. So even though the knees and ankle bones stay together, there's this energetic lateral pull away. This fires up the whole posterior set of glute and hip muscles. Three more breaths. Slight chin tuck. Relax those shoulder blades. Take a full breath, bring that light in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step or float back. High push up. Same exhale, low. Inhale, up dog. Chin lock, the belly lock pulls you back down dog. Take one breath in and one breath out. And then inhale, lift the right leg. As you exhale, step it up between the hands. Spin that right heel down. And inhale, come all the way up to warrior one. And exhale, settle in. So allow, especially if your shoulders, just allow the arms to maybe take a wider V. And if your shoulders are bothering you, you can always bring your hands forward 
or even at your hips or goal post. Three more breaths. Belly pulls in. Now as you inhale, lift up on the ball of that left foot and then begin to open to warrior two. That keeps you from over rotating at the knee joint. Now because we don't do a lot of primary standing, go deeper than you think you normally can and hold for four breaths. Now inhale and come up on the ball of that left foot. Sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, just release your hands down. Runner's lunge. You're gonna rock forward on the left toes and release the left knee, top of the left foot. We're coming right into secondary standing series. Inhale, this is known as crescent lunge in its full position. So the arms can stay down, be at the hips, or all the way up. Three more breaths. So just breathe into the front of that left hip. One. Take a full breath. And as you exhale, release the left hand down. That right hand comes to the outside of the right thigh. And you're gonna press and stabilize that right leg as you create spinal length. And then pull the belly button in and twist right over that right shoulder. Four more breaths. breath. Then inhale, release both hands down and then shift the weight back. This is known as half Hanumanasana or half split. The hips are over the left knee. That right foot is flexed and the knee and toes face the ceiling. And you're just working a flat back over that right leg for four, Three, two, and one. And then inhale, come back into the lunge position. Curl the back toes under and step back to high push up. <clears throat> so feel free to drop your knees if you need, right? Don't let ego, exhale, low push up. Push you somewhere you're not ready to go. Inhale, open the heart, up dog or cobra. And if you're down on your legs, make your way through tabletop and then down dog. And take a clean, solid breath in and a complete breath out. And then inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it up between the hands. Spin that right heel down. Gather that light energy. Come all the way up, warrior one. Oftentimes we forget about what's behind us. And so energize that back leg. Press through the outer edge of the right side of the pinky foot. Make sure you're keeping that container, that core, that essence of you intact and engaged. Two more breaths. And inhale, lift up on the ball of the right foot. And then open warrior two. 
one of the good checks just to make sure your arms are right over your legs and that both legs evenly share the weight and then just relax through the shoulders. Deepen into that front knee and secure it with the pelvic floor. Now the inhale brings that right arm down. You come up on the ball of that right foot and then exhale, release the hands down, surround that left foot. Roll over the right toes, release the right knee. This is an acute angle, so it's not this, it's down. Hands down, hips, or all the way up. And then you breathe. Send that energy out to the universe with full faith. Last breath. And as you exhale, the right hand comes down, left hand outside of the left thigh. Inhale, create spinal length. Exhale, begin to twist and look over that left shoulder. Inhale, release the left hand, shift the weight back, flex the left foot, exhale, fold over that left leg, activate that left leg, right? Antagonistic and synergistic muscles. Four more. And inhale, come back, creep forward into runner's lunge, lift that back knee, and exhale, step back, high push up. Always the option to drop the knees, breath in, exhale, low push up. Inhale, up dog or cobra, chin lock, belly lock, pulls you back down dog. Three complete breaths in evenness and equanimity, letting the body digest, discharge, and assimilate. One more breath. And as you exhale, bend the knees, then walk, hop, or float, feet to the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend those knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, mountain pose. And just take a breath and just be right there in mountain. Tree pose, Vrikshasana. So inhale and bring the left leg either to a kickstand, to the calf, or all the way up. Press the left foot into the right thigh. Let the right thigh engage and press against the foot. And bring your hands in heart center. Today, I focus on all things I want to attract into my life. Allow those arms and the branches of the tree to grow. And then inhale, bring the knee forward, hands in heart center. Exhale, touch mountain. A cleansing breath in and out. Balancing with tree on the other side, bring the right foot in, kickstand calf or above the knee. 
press the right foot into the left thigh. Let the left thigh resist, pull that energy up, hands and heart center. Invite it in. The more specific, the better. Allow the branches of the tree to open and flower and extend. And then inhale, hands, heart, center, knee comes forward. Exhale, touch mountain. One breath in and out. Moving on the back, strengthening. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward, pull the belly in, empty the air. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, high push up. Drop your knees down and then lower all the way to your belly. <clears throat> One set of Cobra Pose. Inhale, press through the tops of the feet, kneecaps off, glutes engaged. Exhale, hover those hands. Full breath in, exhale, release down. Gaze goes over that right shoulder, big toes touch, heels fall open. And rest. Chin back forward, hands flip over, legs together. And as though you were creating spinal length, press into the hands first. So the crown of the head's really reaching forward. The toes are reaching back. The inner thighs are spiraling in and up. And then if you're almost like hitchhiking, right, the thumbs lift and then the heart and hands lift. Four more breaths. Full breath, exhale, touch it down, look over your left shoulder and take rest. Nourishing, detoxifying, pure breath. Inhale, chin forward, hands up underneath the shoulders. And then as you exhale, <clears throat> tabletop position. Three rounds of cat-cow. So inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts, shoulder blades retract, throat open. Exhale, press through the shins, the tops of the feet, and tuck the chin. <clears throat> inhale, bend and flex the spine. Exhale, round and arch. One more. And then walk your knees up. Have a seat on your buttocks. The inhale opens yourself up and the exhale rolls you down. So one set of drawbridge. Inhale, legs up. Exhale, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Lower the legs about a third of the way, maybe half. And hold for five. And then inhale, bring those legs up. And exhale, give those knees a hug. Maybe a little massage on the spine. Yeah. 
And today we're coming into supine pigeon. So cross the right leg over the left thigh, foot's flexed. Stick your right hand in the hole between your legs and interlace all 10 fingers around that left thigh. The head, neck, and shoulders stay down and you're just gonna use the exhale to pull that left knee in towards the left shoulder. At the same time, you can add a little bit of compression by using that right elbow to nudge and open that right inner thigh. Seven clean breaths. Inhale, release the hands. Let the left foot touch the mat. Bring the arms out like a T. And as you exhale, drop both knees off to the right. So that right ankle is still hooked. This is all iliotibial band, iliac crust, posterior hip flexor work. And then let your gaze go to your left hand. Let the unfolding happen gently. Release and let go. Two more breaths. As you inhale, bring the legs back up. Tighten the cross of the leg position and toe heel the left foot towards the right buttocks. Pick the buttocks up, shift onto the left hip, and with the legs crossed, take a spinal twist. And your gaze goes towards your right hand. You can use your left hand to kind of gently encourage the opening and the spinal twist. Three more breaths. And then inhale, slowly come back center. Shift those hips, square it up. Pull the right knee into the chest and straighten the left leg long. Extend the right leg up and bring the nose up towards the knee. Inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, point the foot. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. Inhale, release the head, neck, and shoulders down. Circle the ankle in one direction and then the other. As you release your hands, let the leg float down for four, three, two, and one. And then just take a breath and rest and feel, feel the difference in the right side of the body and the left side. And then hug those knees into the chest. And then bring the right foot down, cross the left foot over so the ankle is dangling past the right thigh. Bring your legs up, stick the left hand in the hole in the legs, interlace all 10 fingers around that right thigh, and then slowly pulling that right knee in towards the right shoulder. So your core, seven breaths, your core actually keeps your sacrum down. So you're using, so this is very aware and active pose. You can nudge that left inner thigh a slight chin tuck. Shoulder blades retract to the ground. And 
And then inhale, release the arms, bring them out like a T. And as you exhale, drop both legs off to the left with the right foot, ankle and thigh hooked on the, I'm sorry, the left foot hooked on top of the right. And your gaze goes towards your right thumb. You're just letting the weight of that left leg do the opening passively. Feel how good it feels to just be gentle. When we sync ourselves with the currency, the flow of the universe, it is effortless and easy. We're not swimming against the current. And then inhale, bring those legs back up. Tighten the position, the cross. Toe heel the right foot over a little bit towards the left buttocks. Lift up and roll out on that right hip and then take the spinal twist. And now your gaze goes towards your left thumb. You can use that right hand to just passively open through the low back. Three more slow, even, lovely, gentle breaths. And then releasing that, bring the knees back up. Square those hips up. Hug the left knee in. Straighten the right leg long. Breath in. As you exhale, straighten that left leg up. Nose comes towards the knee. Inhale, flex the foot. Exhale, point. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. One more. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point. And then inhale, release the head, neck, and shoulders down. Circle the ankle in one direction and then the other. Release your hands and on a four count, let that leg float down. Four, three, two, and one. And then just rest and feel, feel the difference. So bring those knees in one more time. Hug the knees to the chest. So you have options here. This is known as apasana. Or you can grab underneath the outside edges of the feet and your forehead comes to your knees. This is known as grabbing. And exhale, kick the feet forward for three. And then release. And come to Shavasana. Soften and relax. In this moment, go within. Allow your body to find its comfortable resting position. Go within and go to that place of inner quiet where we experience that connection to the higher self. Let go of all thoughts and begin to follow the natural flow of the breath. Find yourself more comfortable, more relaxed, more at peace.
what is reality? Is reality something we experience through our senses or is it something more? Just because we cannot see or touch something does not mean that it doesn't exist. And the same holds true for abundance. Spirit lives beyond the mind. This is the field of pure potentiality. Tapping into this potential enables us to manifest a bountiful life. All that is required is thought, intention, attention, and expectation. Limitless love, boundless joy, optimum health, financial abundance, pervasive peace are available to all of us. They are our birthright. And we access these gifts by going beyond the mind and connecting to spirit. Gently introduce today's mantra, Sat Chit Ananda. Sat Chit Ananda. Existence, consciousness, bliss. Rest with the mantra in the center of the mind. I will mind the time and bring you out with a soft bell. Please continue your meditation. Releasing the mantra. Taking a long, slow, deep breath in. And a long, slow, deep breath out. You start to gently move your body. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Roll over to the right side.
Today, I focus on attracting all that I want to invite into my life. Existence, consciousness, bliss. Please press yourself up to a seated position if you're not already there. Bring your hands in front of your heart and honor your divine self. I wish you peace and blessings. Namaste. Thank you. I apologize for running a little over. Um, I thought I had it timed pretty well. I probably talked too much. We'll get that better. It's okay. Nobody's in a hurry anymore. <laughs> Thank you all. One question, Suzanne. Have a lovely day. Do you have a question, Encore? Right. Yeah. So Sometimes what I notice like morning when we get up, our mind is very calm and even the body also very slow and we don't feel to do the yoga like half an hour or 40 minutes later after you get up. So what time we should get up for a 6.30 practice? You really want to know? <laughs> 4.30 to 5 a.m. Right. You rise with the sun, you sleep with the sun. Yeah. Um, I think part of um, COVID has um, given people permission. We've been in such a rajasic go, go, go mode in our lives. And this has given us permission to be more tamasic mm -hmm. um, or lethargic. And, um, and so people are having a harder time rising and waking, but yes. Um, and you do, so the dinacharya practices, the tongue scraping, the neti, the oil, all that happens from, and the, like, and the journaling. Yeah. If you all are interested in the morning ritual, I'm happy to share that with you. Um, it can overwhelm people, which is why I don't, I don't always like go, okay, like, let's just start with the basics. <laughs> yes, we can adopt one or two. Did that answer your question, Angkor? Yes, um, I got the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Danielle, you have a question, babe? No, I'm just, I want more. That wasn't enough for me. <laughs> I'm going to do it over. So I don't mind you going over at all. I, that, that like flew by. I was like, wow. So, um, I'll be sending that practice out. So that I, t I when I first timed this, I was actually, we were in, uh, um, I, I was actually called 17 minutes to sanity uh -huh. um, because people weren't doing their morning practices. So I was like, how can I, take the container and, and yeah. give them all through the chakras enough to go out into the world. Yeah. And when I do it and time it all on my breath, yeah. it's great. But then I forgot I had to describe stuff. Yeah, exactly. and so it took more time. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send that out to you so you can do it as many times as you want today. <laughs> no, and I was going to say the opposite. I, um, I've been getting up so early, you know, just I'm, you know, the second night, are you there? Yeah. Last year. Okay. Sorry. We cut out. No, but I was just like, I can't sleep, you know, with the sun, I'm up. The second I hit, the light hits my eyes, I am up. And so it's like, I well, wish I could sleep later. Sometimes I need it, but I can't. Yeah. The vatas, the vatas yeah. need, you actually need like blackout curtains to sleep. I'm trying to sleep with my mask on to do anything. Yeah, yeah vatas have a hard time with that. Yeah. Hafas, <laughs> hafas, we have to like nudge. Nudge. <laughs> my Frenchie he had to nudge him <laughs> yeah and so if you don't know what I'm talking about um in Ayurveda um we look at the doshas and so there's one way to just begin to understand this is to go online and take one of the dosha quizzes Yoga International, Banyan Botanicals, um, Deepak Chopra they all have great little dosha quizzes and it talks about um, your natural constitution so there's a questionnaire that you go through and it tells you about there's Prakriti and Vikriti and some is your physical constitution and some is your mental constitution, but they give us insight into our tendencies and how to holistically address them for balance. 
that's it. <laughs> Any other questions? Nobody wants to leave. Everybody wants to stay today. Thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful Thank day. You. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Okay. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Fa. Are you still there? Yeah, I am. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hold on. Let me quit the recording here. <laughs>